Good morning, and September has arrived without too much flamboyancy, except its spurts of cold, of course. Well, as we enter the spring here in South Africa, or the hope of spring, we also know that in life we too have our seasons. And for all of us, we know of those stormy seasons, which sometimes go by quickly like a high felt storm, or then there are those that batter our shores and destroy some of our lives, like the storms we have seen in many parts of our country and in our world, of course. One of the songs I love, and yes, I know I have a lot of favourites, and this is one of them, is called In the Eye of the Storm by Ryan Stevenson. Now, towards the end of the song, there are the lyrics, My only hope is to trust you. In other words, to trust in the Lord. When the storms of life are raging around us and in us, this should be our heart's cry. This word trust, however, is often something we struggle with, even as devout Christians and believers, because we are created with senses, and our natural inclination is to hear, smell, taste, touch, and see, meaning that these give us evidence. However, faith and belief um, require of us to trust the unseen. So, for instance, we naturally don't trust someone we can't see, especially when there is pain and uncertainty involved in our personal stories and history. So, learning from our experiences, we find it difficult to trust again. So, when our faith journey requires us to trust our Lord, we need His assistance to give us the grace to trust Him, of course, no matter what our daily circumstances look like, to our human eyes. In my own experience, I have learned that during my difficult times, I didn't see or always know what he was doing. We are not able to see the intricate crafting of our own story the way he does. The writer of the song I mentioned gave this beautiful description. In time, if we can just stand and not look to the right or to the left, we will see how his hand has been spinning us on the wheel, like, like the clay of, on the potter's, um, in the potter's hands. So when life takes us through these trials and tribulations, we need to pray for the awakening of our soul, souls to the knowledge and the truth of the goodness of God in all cir um, circumstances and situations. So Isaiah 26 verses 3 encourage us with these words so well. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. You see, the Christian life is all about faith. And Paul writes in Hebrews 11, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It's the evidence of things we cannot see. Now, this is a beautiful word, verse and one which should bring comfort in the midst of our difficult seasons. And if God calls us to do something, we must believe it and, of course, act on it. You see, the easiest thing for us to do is to doubt. It is easy to doubt. This is because, um, as humans, we find ourselves on the roller coaster of life, which travels between peaks and valleys and ups and downs, and we can easily be caught up between hope and despair. And because of our human nature, we find comfort in what we see, feel, and phys physically can grasp and get extremely frustrated because we want to see results and the fruits of our labors quickly because we're in a society where there's instant gratification. We can do um, a quick personal check, though, to see if you are in a dull period of life now. Things aren't really going anywhere. It's just the next day to the next. Or are you feeling alone, hopeless or discouraged? Or are you in a season of celebration and achievement? Once we've done that personal check, we can come back to Scripture. So here comes another piece of bread from Scripture to feed us wherever we find ourselves. And it comes from Jeremiah 29 verses 11, which says, and it's a well-known verse, but yes, I want us to, to take, take heart. I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and hope. Now, this might be harder to accept in certain seasons of our lives, especially when it's going really, really tough. 
But knowing that God is closer than you know or think has some sort of comfort that rings in our hearts. Our most trying seasons are the seasons where our characters are shaped and formed to be more like Jesus. So reading through the whole of Hebrews 11, where great examples of faith are listed, was very encouraging to me again, and a stark reminder that God is always there, always present, and working in our lives. Do yourself a favor and go and read yourself Hebrews 11. James does, however, give us good advice in chapters, um, James chapter 2, verses 17, where he warns, So you see, by faith itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Looking at faith, we see that it needs to change us and bring glory to God. It is when we rely on God's grace to increase our faith that we are changed by his love. And that love reassures us that we cannot be separated from this love. This is a freedom that reteaches us the gospel. The fact that Jesus has already entered into our realm of existence, our seasons, our storms. And I am eager to have, and is of course eager to participate in our journeys of healing and wholeness. Just brings forth that, that peace that we can't give to ourselves. Knowing that he's already in the middle of our storms and the messes that we are in says to us a message from him personally. I'll walk with you if you let me. What beautiful, encouraging words for us to open up our hearts and let go and, and just feel this freedom that comes with these encouraging words. When we learn to let go and let God have his wonderful way, we are released from the fear and anxiety our circumstances press up onto us. There is a well-known proverb that should be imprinted on our hearts, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. And of course, in Romans 3, um, it gives us these encouraging words. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who you are. There's another good song with the lyrics, You're a good, good father. And we need to learn that we will never be able to trust God if we don't believe that he is good. His goodness is not determined by our situations or our seasons or our storms because God is motivated by his love alone. And if I believe that he loves me, I will learn to trust beyond what I am capable of doing or performing and give him my heart to fully trust him. We cannot fix ourselves or our situations many a time, and we need to rely on his grace to build our trust. It is also through learning to trust God in all and through all that we learn to find the power of testimony. Our testimony helps others through their storms and restores their hope in God, and so the other way around. When we hear of the work of God in others, we are encouraged and strengthened in our situations. This, of course, is called sharing the gospel, and yes, we all like to hear about the good outcomes, but sometimes it's just good to hear the goodness of God being close in times of trouble. Watching someone give a testimony while they are in their storms has so much power because it is in the testimony of their faith that we are encouraged and strengthened too. It is, it is a display of faith persevering inside the trials that encourage others. And it is evidence of how much they lean on God and his grace for their faith. Let us spread the gospel through living out our faith and testifying of the work that God does in and through us, especially in the eye of our storms. I close with this beautiful verse from John 3 verses 16. Yes, we know it, but may it be real for us today. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Come, let us pray. Lord Jesus, give us a revelation in our hearts today that knows that you are good. Father, we get weary and worried and we need you to pour out your peace into our lives right now. Give us the reassurance to keep moving forward, even when we are not feeling like it. Please bring people into our lives who will speak truth and encouragement 
when we are feeling discouraged. We give all of our lives to you. And as that, that you would, we know that you would take it and build our faith and use us for your kingdom. We love you, Lord. And we pray this all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Be encouraged and lean on God's grace to build your faith, no matter where you find yourself this morning.